guys, it's me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with what I'm calling my fall coloring bucket list. So I'm actually gonna take you through my bullet journal a little bit and um, give you more tips on how to make coloring goals for yourself if you so choose and show you what my goals are for September and October. And yes, I have a big stack of books next to me to show you and we'll talk about that all in a second. Two things to say first. One, I'm waiting on a phone call and I'm positive it's going to come very, very soon because it knows I'm filming. But two, I unfortunately received my first mark yesterday on my no spend. So um, if you haven't seen this before, I am attempting to do a 90 day book buying ban and that goes for reading books and coloring books. There's a few loopholes for each really for coloring books. If I get sent a gift for any or sent a book for any reason that doesn't count. And for reading books, I was allowing myself to continue my book of the month subscription because I already like pay for that. So that kind of was came included whatever but I ended up picking a second book for my book of the month subscription so that definitely does not count and I got my first ding so pink is reading fails and purple are coloring fails I'm doing good so far with the purple I have book of the month listed down below it's a really great service I ended up getting for anyone into reading uh, anxious people I think is what it's called by Frederick Bachman I've never read his book before but a bunch of them are really popular and I own a few and this one I'm an anxious person so I'm excited to see what this one's about and then I ended up adding on one by one by Ruth Ware uh, she's a really popular thriller writer at this point and that's her newest book and it actually comes out September 8th but I should end up getting it in like a day or two because of book of the month so and I also ended up getting it so how the subscription works is your first book every month is $15 and then you can get two add-ons for $10 each so I really got both books for $25 and they're both not even released yet so it was definitely a good deal I'm just sad to get my first mark that was a whole long intro of nothing so let me show you my bullet journal for September my theme is apples I don't really do a theme that hard like I've seen some gorgeous work where they do full spreads of theming whatever but for me my bullet journal is almost more of a list book slash habit tracker type thing. I don't actually do any planning in here necessarily. Every once in a while, if I'm having like a really busy time, I'll throw in a to-do list or something. So that is that I used. Let's see if I can show you this. This thing, this is a We Are Memory Keeper like tracing apparatus. And it's this clear plastic and you end up putting your phone, I have my case because my phone's obviously, you put your phone here and then you put this down and you can kind of see it on the other side. So I just looked up the word September in a pretty font and then essentially traced it with this thing. So that's super cool and has been helpful. I'll try to link that down below in case you're interested in that. And then how I do my bullet journal, I'm not even done. Right now I'm filming it as August 31st, so I'm actually working on this today. But what I do is basically the same spreads every month because that's what works for me. There's a few extra this month because we're going into a new season. But on this side of the page, it's like my monthly overview and that's where I write down any specific things I know are happening. I write Sam's days off. Now that we're getting into fall, I write the giant schedule. I'm a big football fan, birthdays and holidays, things like that. And this is again, the little touch of apple that I throw in here. And then on this side, um, I do a goal bingo and this is all fun goals. Sometimes it'll be like task goals, but this will be like walk 10 times this month, um, color 20 pages. What other goals have I had? Sometimes it'll be like hang the curtains finally, you crazy lady who has had them for two years. No, I'm not mean to myself in here because it's fun. Let's see if I have other ones. Yeah, my notebook buy, scrapbook, three pages, clean the guest room, things like that. And it's it's not important to get these done. It's all bonus. So that's what I'm getting at. Then I do my money tracker. I can show you because it's empty right now. But we split our bills into five categories just to track. And then that way, if Sam or I are spending from our own budget, we don't really have to consult each other. Not that we do anyway, but I feel like it's it's nice for both 
people to be on the same page with the finances, if that makes any sense. Then we got uh, my book bingo. I'm actually in a group on Facebook that every month they make a bingo card for you of different prompts. So it will be a free space and then it'll be like, read a book by an author that starts with M or read a sci-fi or whatever. And there's a whole bunch of prompts and then you try to fill them out and get a bingo there. And then on this side, I have my Animal Crossing critters because every month a new critters become available and I really like to track them. And then this are the pages we're gonna be working on today. These are my finished pages and my bucket list. So normally in the past, I would do a half sheet of finished pages and then my goals right on top. But if you've seen my last two monthly wrap ups, which I'll link up above, I've been crazy. I don't understand what's happened. Last month I finished 75 pages, 76 pages. So I definitely needed more room for that. So now I have room for 68 pages on this sheet. So I can't get more than that, that's too much. But here's what we're gonna do for our fall bucket list. So I've picked eight books that I wanna color in and eight specific pages that I wanna color in September and October and I'm gonna go through all of those with you. And then I'll just show you, I have my statistics page for YouTube, some of my ideas. So I keep a total of how much money I'm making, how many views and subs I get, and if I upload or not. And then on this side, I intend to upload every other day. So I keep a list here of what the uploads are gonna be. So all I know is the scavenger hunt was the video right before this, which I'll also link up above. This will almost definitely be going up on the third. I can even write that in right now. I'm gonna call it bucket list. Wham bam. So, and then I have, I'm gonna do like a health and fitness page that I have to work on. And then I'm actually going to do a very similar thing for my rest of my bucket list. So I usually do an activities fall bucket list, which may be modified this year because of pandemic stuff, which is totally fine. But it'll be like apple picking, pumpkin picking, hayride, corn maze. Um, this year I might add more like bake a pie, bake, uh, make some homemade soup, things like that, that are very fall-like that I want to do, decorate for Halloween, etc. And then I do a movie list of a bunch of movies that I love to watch this time of year, like Hocus Pocus and Coco and uh, Clue. I love Clue. I love watching it every year. And I just have a whole list that I will be writing in. And I think that's it. Oh, and then I'm going to be writing down the giant schedule and my fantasy football schedule, which my draft is next week and I am not ready. So now on to today's event, now that we're like eight minutes in. Basically, I just have a stack. I'm gonna go through, show you what's going on. I think I'm gonna make leaves be books and cats be specific pages. And I'm gonna actually be writing them as we go. You get out of here. I also have a new background. This is just like, uh, watercolor pink but I'm not sure these lighter color backgrounds kind of make everything look darker at least in my my view I'm not sure if that's what it looks like when we get to the computer but we'll see we'll see what happens with it so my first page is fairy miracles by Clara Markova this is actually a work in progress I want to finish so I'm just gonna I posted it it posted it I started this last year, I think, and then never finished it. I did the moon, half of the wings, and three chunks of pumpkin back there. So I don't know why I stopped it. Usually in her books, this indicates that it's a double page when it's a double page, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing this side. This side feels less fall to me. We'll see how it goes. I definitely want to do this side though. So here we go, page number one. I'm gonna do FM for Fairy Miracles, that page. Voila. Number two is also a specific page because why not? This is Whimsy Girls at Work by Hannah Lynn. I love Hannah Lynn. I will probably do many Hannah Lynn pages over the course of the next two months, but I specifically decided that I wanted to try to do this barista, which I forget what her name is. This is Latte to Go. I just thought that like pumpkin spice season, 
Um, this is a page I definitely wouldn't gravitate towards. Like, it's a little bit too detailed for me, but I figure that writing it on this list might be a good push to do this one. So I'm gonna write this one down. Latte to go. And then I put the little HL next to it. I think our next one is also a specific page. And then we get onto some of the books. So this is April, I think is how she says her name. I'm not sure. Forest Girl, which I needed this book when I first saw it. I think it's the prettiest thing ever. It has the original artwork on one side and then the line work for you to do on the other side. Uh, I've had this definitely two years at least and I have not even finished one page. So I'm going to attempt to finish this page that I started years ago. I was trying my hardest to match the example. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna keep trying, but put less pressure on myself and just try to get it done instead of worrying about being perfect when I just, this is not my style of coloring normally, so no wonder it's hard. But I love this book so much and I'm excited to try to do this page. This is called A Bite of Ripened Red Autumn. So let's write that down. I'm gonna write a poll. No, Forest Girl Apple is what I'm gonna write down. And it's also appropriate since that's my theme for my bullet journal, right? Forest Girl Apple. Also, I'm putting all of these books on my cart, which if you've seen my cart tour, I'll link it up above, is where I like to keep my books I wanna work on soon, just because it helps narrow down and then I usually pick from there first. And of course, I'm not limiting myself to these books. I can obviously color whatever I want, but for me, I love having a smaller thing to choose from. Sometimes it's very overwhelming having all the choices in the world. So this is a book I want to work in. This is brand new to me, The Coloring, Color by Number Patterns by Jade Summer. I already have done four pages in two days in this book, and I'm actually kind of on a little break right now. This is the second day off I'm taking from coloring because, again, I colored 75 pictures last month. But when I get back, I really want to do more in here. I really just love how bold these pages come out. And they're so much fun, and I've never had a color by number pattern book before. So I'm going to put, I'll switch my pens. That's another thing. I usually just pick two pen colors a month to uh, theme everything that way. So I'm going to put Jade Summer color by number as my number one. I guess they're just going in whatever order they're stacked next to me. Number two on books I want to finish. This hopefully is an easy challenge, so I can definitely make sure I check something off. This is Fairy Magic by Color Questopia. I only have, I think, four pages left in this book, and then I will be completely done with it, and I'm very excited about that. So I definitely want to be doing that this month. I know it will happen. I can do this. So I'm going to write that down as... And my next book, so Fairy Magic. Hopefully I will even do that maybe this week. Like I'm really ready to go. Honestly, when I'm done with this, I'm really hoping to obtain the Halloween book that they just came out with. Or I have the Succulents, which I'm sure will have a little touch of fall in there. And again, I don't need to be doing fall, so I could also work on my turtle book from them. Next up is another full book. It is Chibi Girl Horror by Jade Summer. Unfortunately, I don't have the grayscale. I wish I did, but I don't think I'm gonna purchase it because I have this regular version. It makes me sad. I wish that they came out with grayscale at the same time, but I understand why they don't because I'm sure a lot of people that did purchase this version went out and purchased the grayscale. Oh, so I just, this book has doubles. So I just have a page in there to separate the doubles. And this is the only page I've done so far in here. I still think it looks good, but obviously I didn't shadow it. So I did put a bunch of glitter on her little outfit that I don't know if you can see. And their mouths, mouths, their yeah, mouths, I apparently can't say that word right now, and eyeballs and things like that, some glitter everywhere. So I'm hoping to get more done in here. So that's Chibi Girl's horror. Hmm. 
Chibi girls horror. Another Jane Summer up next is another new book to me. This is Cute Witches. This, I did get the grayscale, and this was actually a gift from Jenny at Rainy Day Coloring. I got it right real quick this time. So she also has this book too, and hopefully we will get to buddy color in this. So this is the grayscale version. I haven't done anything yet because we were waiting for September. So here this is, it's super cute. There's doubles in here too. I picked out like six that I really like that hopefully we can get to. Um, but now while we're here speaking about buddy coloring, if you see any books that you like or have in this stack that you want a buddy color with me, please feel free to let me know. I'm totally up for that. I've been doing buddy colors mostly on Instagram. It's just much easier to chat over there, but we can figure something out. So that is cute, which is Next is another book. I think all the books are in a row now. Oops, I just smacked my mouse. This is also new to me. This is 50 Halloween Mandalas by Camelia Angelkova. This is super cute. I really like her books, her mandala books specifically. This is like half mandalas, half just images. So I think the reason she got away with calling them mandalas is because they're all circular. But I just thought this is like just the amount of creepy I can handle. Like this spooks me out, but it's not too gory. So, and then there's definitely some cuter images in here. So I'm hoping to get a few done in here, um, probably starting this month, but definitely in October. There's definitely, I'm sure there's some that are more September friendly, like this one can be September. -y. So we will see, but that's 50 Halloween mandalas. Let's write that down. Halloween. mandalas and now i'm out of space on my cart for a minute because everything slipped around so i'm gonna have to just put those to the side next up is another book this is 50 lovely gnomes also by camelia angelkova this is my first of her books that is not mandalas and i did three pages last month but i definitely want to keep going gnomes just feel super fall to me there's a lot of critters in here like woodland critters that are very fall and I just know, especially if you do some nice browns and greens, that you can make a lot of these look very fall. So I'm excited to do more in here. I actually, this book does a really good job of being appropriate for all the seasons, because obviously you can just color these things in lighter colors for spring. Uh, I did a bunch of fruit pictures for summer, and there is some wintry pictures, like uh, that's a snowman. So that's pretty wintry. So I love this book a lot and I'm hoping to get more done in there. So that is Lovely Gnomes. Next up is another classic for me. This is Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn. This I think was my first Hannah Lynn book. Like I'm nearly positive. I think we got this one and then like a month later we got the Christmas one. I actually have done a ton in this book. I wanna say at least half the pages I have done. So, because I started working in this one in 2017. What I'm excited for in this book is one, to finish the pages I haven't done, and two, I'm actually tempted to do some of the doubles in here. In fact, I'm hoping to do a like Throwback Thursday video in which I redo a picture. This is my profile picture on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. I love that page. So again, I started, let's see, I think this was my first page from September 16th, 2017. So I definitely, I hope I've improved at least a little bit, especially with skin. But I really love this book and I love it because I really like trying all crazy skin tones and crazy hair colors. And you can definitely do that when it's like witches and vampires and fake people. <laughs> Fantasy, not fake, but you know what I'm saying. So I wanna get more done in here. I was expecting to be able to show you more of my finished work, but apparently when I flipped, it just only flipped to empty pages. So I hate when that happens, but I definitely, I promise, I did a bunch in here. So I'm going to call this one Hannah Lynn Halloween. Okay, 
And for final book that I want to work in, it is actually the Pixar 100 color mystery book. This is a French coloring book that I had a long time and I actually only have one page done in here. This book does not have the black outlining that a lot of the other ones do and the black outlining is my favorite part. So I've been very hesitant to work in here because I don't like not having that outlining, but I own it so I might as well give it a shot and also my September Disney theme that is self-imposed is Pixar. So hopefully I will get some stuff done in here. Maybe just all these inside out guys because I love that movie. So I'm gonna write that down. Let's see. Pixar. That's enough, I'll know what that means. And now we're getting into the rest of the specific pages I've picked. Hopefully all my books don't come th flying at me. First up, this is Fairy Tales by Emily Lidl Oberg. This is one of my favorite books, my favorite artists of all times, and I always want to be doing more in this book. So I've picked one page, but I keep this on my cart all year round. And the Sagor Aksagner I picked for this specific project. I can't get to my post-it, of course. This bunny page, I think this is super cute. So it's these bunnies and a snow globe and there's like leaves all over and they're wearing sweaters. So that's definitely very fall. I actually did a color and chat, like a multi-part color and chat on this one, probably one to two years ago. So that's fun. This is all with ink tents. I really like using my ink tents or neo colors in these books. I don't know why the paper can handle it. So maybe that's why, but that's my goal in there. So let's see, what should we call this? Fairy Tales FT Bunny Globe. Oof. Globe. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that. All right. Next up, I'm gonna put this book behind me. I'm really running out of book space. Next up is Chibi Girls Grayscale. You're probably like, you do stuff from there monthly. Like, why do you need to have this in the list? And you're right. In fact, I have a buddy color already lined up for September. But what I really want to do is this witch. This witch was like the first Grayscale page I ever did and I didn't understand it all. I ended up using, I wanna say like, scented markers and I only had like six colors. It was crazy, but I'm really wanting to do this again now that I have alcohol markers and kind of understand what's going on with these. And this also might be a contender for a throwback Thursday video, but I really like it. So I'm gonna call her Chibi Witch. Just a few more to go. All right, next up. I actually picked one page from each of the Romantic Country books, so it's all three of those in a row. Apparently, we're gonna look at two first. These are probably my favorite series of books. I just think they're so cute. So from Romantic Country 2, I really wanna do this like trick-or-treat page where they're waiting at the door. I really love all the pumpkins in these books. I've done many pumpkin pages in my Romantic Country books. So I'm gonna call this one rom co two trick or treat uh oh my spacing is bad trick or treat it fits all right then apparently next in my stack is original romantic country and in this one where did i put the post-it nope on top okay some of these i already had posted it because i just put like i just keep a post it in a bunch of these books and for this one I really want to do this treehouse page which I know isn't the most fall but I really like it and think it's pretty and I might do water mediums in here too I have before I think I don't know if I did it in this volume I was just gonna try to flip to it I've also done acrylic paint this blue is acrylic and I as I was saying in my wrap-up that it is harder to get any color but black, not to be super streaky in my opinion. So this is a little bit streaky, so I ended up trying to like add clouds on top. But I've definitely used water mediums in this book. We'll just see if I use it on this page. So we will call this Romco One Treehouse. 
Uh-oh, I have two pages left and only one sticker. I don't know what happened here. So I'm actually gonna skip my Romantic Country third tale and show you the other book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I definitely just counted wrong somewhere. I am not surprised. So this is a Menuet de Bonaire, maybe? I do not know. I will have it linked below if it is still available on Amazon. But I got this book over two years ago and I have not colored anything in it. And I'm very sad about that. This is just very intimidating to me because it's like the cute little animals. But if you look this book up on Instagram, people do the most beautiful work in it. Like they are so good and I, I'm not. So I think I've just let myself be intimidated, but I'm not going to anymore. And I really want to do this page, which is I'm gonna call Cat Witch, which again is more pumpkins. And I just think it's super cute. And I think the actual animal parts that are showing are so small that hopefully it'll be a good page to jump into and not worry about it too much. So we will see. So I'm gonna call this Cat Witch. And that's it, that's basically my goals. I guess I can show you my Romantic Country 3 page. I just can't write it down because I ran out of space. But I think I would like to do this wine page. I've wanted to do this page for years, the kids wine stomping. So hopefully that will get done, but who knows. So that is my little list. Uh, again, I really love to do goals every month. You can go back and see some of my goals, but I just think it helps me pick pages and it helps me pick what books I'm gonna use because obviously I have a whole bunch of books at this point and it can be overwhelming. So I really like this method and that's another reason why I really like to do my challenges. So if you ever need any goal ideas for the month, let me know, I can give you a bunch of tips, uh, including picking books or picking pages or using challenges, things like that. But thank you so much for sticking around with me. This ended up being longer than I expected. If you made it all the way to the end, please say Apple for our theme. And thank you again for watching. Comment down below if you have anything to say to me. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Why haven't you? I'm a fun time. And I will be back in two days with something else for you. Bye.